543. You're watching Checks Daily. It's time for Business 911. And to come to the aid of all business everywhere, especially Peterborough, we have uh, we have Sandra Duick. She is a policy analyst and communications specialist for Peterborough Chamber of Commerce. Hello. Hello. It's like the biggest title. It is a long title. <laughs> Very impressive. You've got access to information. Yes. Uh, for businesses, they don't have to necessarily be members of the chamber to get to this. No, we have our blog, which is online, connectingptbo.ca. And up there, we post all of our stories that come through, so the Voice of Business articles, and then any that we talk about um, outside of that, or any um, sometimes government information, I'll do a blog post and links, et cetera, that go into that. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of information on there, federal, provincial, and municipal. Is it very important if you're not part of the chamber to still be able to read this stuff and for you guys to help even support people who are not members of the Chamber of Commerce. I, I know, or, uh, it just came to my mind, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, yes, it's always good to, to be aware of these regulations because there's a lot of things that the government is doing that you need to be aware of. The benefits of being a member of the Chamber is that stuff like this can come right to your email right. inbox through our oh, okay. e-news, right? So so you, you have a bit of a, a quicker access point to it. Um, but it is there, it is online, connectingptbo.ca. Some of the ones that uh, we want to talk about that are happening right around now is the small business job credit. So this is talking about EI premiums. So you have a certain oh. threshold and if you are in that threshold, which is about 90% of all EI paying, businesses that are paying into EI in Canada, they will receive the, this credit and the CRA will do it automatically. So there's nice. no paper mm. burden for business. So that's, that's a awesome. great one. That one's really exciting, especially as we are entering, heading towards tax season. Yep. Good point. Um, we've got the WSIB rates were frozen for 2015. So that that's something to be a, aware of. Um, they they did change the the maximal, maximum insurable earnings ceiling for WSIB. It did go up, but the rates are are, are staying frozen. So that that's really good. And one really neat point under WSIB is that the the work that's been happening and and at the chamber through the chamber network, we've been pushing for reform, and we're starting to see over 50 percent of the people that are accessing WSIB are returning to work. So that's a, that's a really good that's fantastic thing to hear and to see that you know maybe some of these changes are working. There's the Canada Ontario Jobs Grant, another one that the Chamber Network really worked hard to ensure that it was something that was going to be effective for employers. And so what they're asking now is they're saying you can apply. So businesses can apply. They they invest $5,000. The government invests $5,000. And they can offer third-party training to employees. Nice. So oh, that lady. one is really exciting. Applications are open now. we got time for one more, I think. And one more accessibility accessibility requirements so there's some new accessibility requirements that are coming coming into effect or that are into effect so what the government has done they've put together um, a compliance wizard so you can go on the link is on that blog you can go on and find out exactly where your business stands in those accessibility it's free it doesn't cost anything and they don't keep the information all right so these links and several more through the blog mm -hmm. connecting PTBO dot ca through the chamber of commerce nice job thanks sandra no thank problem. you very much sandra this was brought to you by business 911 is brought to you by nexicom unlimited internet we have what it takes